for Shakur Stevenson. The camera was closer to hitting him. I did expect uh, Joetza Gonzalez to do more. Unfortunately, that's the way it goes. Shout out to uh, Shakur Stevenson. The 126-pound division is on notice. New WBO 126-pound champion. In my opinion, he beats Josh Taylor, Khan Ju, Leo Santa Cruz has moved up to 130 pounds. Fighting Miguel Flores um, on the undercard of Wilder versus Luis Ortiz 2, PBC on Fox Pay-Per-View. We're going to get you some highlights in the post-fight interview. Man, this is embarrassing. So, Shakur Stevenson and... <laughs> I was going to say that. Shakur Stevenson and he looked like Floyd tonight. He looked like Floyd tonight. Simple as that. My man looked like Floyd tonight. Nice step, nice step back. back. When the lead when the foot lead goes back, back, the back foot goes back. back. Always, Always in distance. In distance. To be able to Always land a counter punch. punch. Every yeah. time Gonzalez will step forward. What does he do? Nice body shot down there to back him up. Beautiful shot by Shakur Stevenson. That's been the, that was the sequence all night. Bernardo, everything behind the jab, blinding him right there, going down to the body. Nice movement. Finding a little exit door. Good movement right here for Shakur Stevenson. Just see the efficiency of Shakur Just. Stevenson. He couldn't be hit. Now, he didn't look like Money Mayweather. No, he didn't look like Pretty Boy Floyd. He looked like Money Mayweather. Like the one that you get. Yo, he's a problem. As we look at the 126-pound rankings before we uh, get to the post-fight interview, we ain't going to see Shakur Stevenson versus Gary Russell. Gary Russell's mandatory is that guy number one, this guy right here, Tugni Ambayar. And the WBC at their convention this week ordered him to fight him. And I've seen him fight before. In fact, it can happen. He's a PBC fighter. It's likely going to happen. From Mongolia. So while they're on commercial break and waiting for the um, post-fight interview, you know, we don't know how long he's going to stay at 126 pounds. You know, they really want to push for him to get Josh Warrington. But I don't think even after seeing this, Josh Warrington's going to want to fight him. Josh Warrington's got a lot of pressure. But Josh Warrington, I like Josh Warrington. But, yo, that's going to be, I, I can't say he's going to beat Shakur Stevenson with a straight face. What the fuck? You know, this kid is good. So at 22 years old, he's got the mic skills. That's only going to get better. He's got the charisma. That's only going to get better. You know, he's got the skills, obviously. He's got the team. And I'm glad that Andre Ward being the person that he is, you know, the son of God and all, you know, I'm glad that, you know, he lets him be him. He lets him be himself, even though he gets in some shit that they probably don't want him to get into. You know, with that shit down in Florida and, you know, some of the shit he may be saying on social media, whatever. But still, nonetheless, that shit sells in this day and age in this generation, you know? Scorecards Score cards Let's listen in. 119 to 109. All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. And now, WBO featherweight world champion from Brick City, Shakur. Stevenson. 119 109. That means that only round seven went in favor of Joette Gonzalez. A virtuoso performance from Shakur Stevenson, who puts that Mexican sombrero on once again. We see Terrence Crawford and, you know, the disappointment on the face of the Gonzalez family. But they knew going into this last round that this fight belonged to Shakur Stevenson. You know what's sad is that now. Shakur is going to go home to that man's daughter and Joette's sister. Oh, my God. Crazy. Y'all got to see that shit with Mark Kriegel did, man. Like, But, you know, true love, as they say, knows no bounds. You know? That's that true love shit, man. You know? After you won, the emotion started to come up. What are you feeling? Uh, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, I came here in Reno, closer to the uh, 
closest to his hometown and uh, wiped them out. So it's an amazing feeling being out grinding for this my whole life. You're in a ring with a guy for 12 rounds. You know what's in his soul. Did this change your opinion of Joette Gonzalez? Oh, Joette a tough motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie to you, Joette tough as hell. Uh, it's nothing but respect for Joette. Uh, I don't got nothing to be mad about with him. If he want to be cool, I'll be cool with him. Uh, it's no, all that was business. Like, it was personal for him, but it's business to me. That's what's up. What did you, what tell, did you tell him when you went over there? I told him that he a hell of a fighter. Uh, he ain't really want to talk to me, but it is what it is. I ain't tripping. Where do you go from here? I want Josh Warrington. Hey, Warrington, we don't got no dates. Uh, it's me and you. I'm, I'm a champion. You a champion. You said you wasn't going to fight me unless I got a title. I got a title now. Let's work. Get it. Some, I want to be I, I want to be unified in, in 14 fights. I knew that was coming. Two weeks ago when we spoke, you had a message you wanted to send to the Gonzalez family. What is that? Uh, I just want to tell them, uh, at the end of the day, this business, like, they wanted to fight me. I didn't really want to fight them. But um, can y'all please talk to y'all daughter? Uh, that's all I got to say. Please talk to your daughter and your sister. That's it. How much longer you got in this division? Hey, Jahida, I love you. Bernardo. Bernardo. Thank, you Thank you very much. So, so Doet Gonzalez, Gonzalez and his, his family, family left, left the ring. ring. Shakur, Shakur Stevenson, Stevenson, I think, with, with the, the most poignant, poignant point, point of the night. night. Absolutely. Absolutely. Please talk. Please talk. That's fucked up. So basically, they cut the system. We, I don't know the real deal, but I mean, you know how family and everything. So they cut the sister off because, I mean, that's that's her name, you know. So shout out to him, you know, for showing his girl some love and shit. You know, that's some real shit right there. That's some real shit. That's some thorough shit right there. You know, on national television, he wasn't on no clown shit with that. So I didn't really, you know, you know, let's listen in what they got to say. Look easy. I can't wait to see this young man fight again. He called out IBF champion Josh Warrington, Gary Russell Jr. He fights once a year and he fights on the other side of the street, so that's not possible. Maybe for the WBA title that'll be vacant now that Leo Santa Cruz is moving up to 130 pounds. Shakur Stevenson is a new WBO featherweight champion of the world. We'll be back with more. He couldn't hit him. He couldn't hit him. Now, will Josh Warrington listen? They both don't got nobody to fight. And when it comes to Leo Santa Cruz, he moved up. Gary Russell only fights once a year, as they said, and he's on the other side of the street. Can you or can you? You know, we're going to have to watch some tape. 17 and 2 with three KOs. I have him being, you know. You know, he's got a fight coming up on the 23rd on, against uh, Manny Robles. We're going to be covering that. Ooh, we're going to be getting a nice look at him on the Andrew Concio versus Rene Alvarado card. That's in a few weeks, less than a month from now. Ooh, we're going to be here. This is why we love covering all championship fights live and uncut. I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. That's what we do. So... It's up to Josh Warrington. Josh Warrington told him to get a belt. Now we got a belt. You also got Mick Conlon, who's taking care of some business with his um, controversy from the past. If um, if um, that that would be, I would like that fight. I got Shakur Stevenson beat Mick Conlon, but still, you know, if he's going to stay at one twenty six, then you got Jesse Magdaleno. You know, Carl Frampton ain't coming back down to one twenty six. He ain't coming back down. You know, there's some, there's about three, four fights there that, that 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 can be made. You know, look at Eric Hunter. You're in the rankings, bro. I see you. Oh, that's Aaron Hunter. That's not Eric. Is that Aaron or did I spell that wrong? I think I spelled that wrong. Is that Eric or Aaron? I gotta fix that. 
Well, I see you, bro. You down there. So, let's see. Let's see. When the last time he fought? That probably is him. You know, but, yeah, you know. The sky's the limit. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe. You wanted to send to the Gonzalez family. What is that? Uh, I just want to tell them, uh, th at the end of the day, this business, like, they wanted to fight me. I didn't really want to fight them. But um, can y'all please talk to your daughter? Uh, that's all I got to say. Please talk to your daughter and your sister. That's it. How much longer you got hey, in this division? Hey, Jahida, I love you.